This is an 8-inch fighter that I make that I've started making in CPM 3V. 3V is pretty durable, so I've taken this down a little bit thinner. The purpose of this video is just to illustrate and demonstrate that even though it's thin enough that it's, uh, it cuts reasonably well, it's uh, still fantastically durable. The uh, first thing I'm going to cut here is a 16-penny nail. Uh, this is a you know, big nail I can use in your house. It's not a, not a little tack here, so you can see there's really pretty much no edge damage at all. Uh, this 3V, it's very durable, and with a tweak to the heat treat, it has better edge stability as well. The key to edge stability with 3V has been a modification to the heat treat where it's a rapid quench and a quench to sub-zero. This is a little different than the industry standard heat treat, but by addressing the tendency to stabilize retained austenite and preventing the need for the secondary hardening hump, you get dramatically better edge stability while still retaining considerable toughness. This is four inches of solid concrete. That's not a cinder block. Obviously this is dull after cutting all that cinder block and that's actually got granite aggregate if you look at it but there's no chipping that goes above the secondary bevel and uh, despite being through concrete it's still I mean it's not sharp but you can still cut cardboard with it. like to point out this is not a sharpened pry bar this is not a super thick tactical knife I mean it's a stout tactical knife but it's not it's not super thick I've sharpened this 20 degrees per side and the edge was taken down to 20 thousandths of an inch before it was sharpened so this is this is a reasonably thin light knife that went through this without any real major damage